Good morning. How many forms of evil should we abstain from? We're looking at 1 Thessalonians 5.22 this morning, and it's not a long verse. Here's what the Bible says. Abstain from every form of evil. Evil comes in many forms, but every form is evil. There's a subtlety in evil. Many things are evil. Many things partake partly of truth and partly of evil, and then, therefore, they become wholly or entirely evil. Truth provides cover and causes many things to appear to be evil, but, of course, it's not. You know, a lot of things that are very harmful, they appear harmless. God gave us his word so that we could see deeper, see further, see, see morally. With the rise of postmodern thought in our time, even the language has become more or less weaponized. A lot of times there's a difference between what you think somebody is saying, or, you, or rather what you think they mean, and what the definition that they're giving to the terms, or the phrases, or the words that they're using. And then they flip these things back and forth, and it becomes very difficult to have any kind of serious discussion with them. And you're approaching things from the standpoint of you're, you want to know what the facts are, what the truth is. Meanwhile, they've sort of been taught that truth is socially constructed, so we kind of make it up for ourselves, and we use it all to attain to our goal, our end point. And so telling lies, telling truth at all doesn't, doesn't matter to, to people in that vein. They, they do whatever seems to work in the moment. So it's very hard to interact with people who uh, can't, don't want to differentiate between truth and error. I'm not trying to veer off and go in that area here today, but I do think that uh, as we, today, some of the things that we're dealing with are very subtle, very dangerous, but very subtle. And we need to be a little bit more alert, a little bit more skeptical. We need to be much more careful about making sure we're all thinking uh, thinking the same definitions as we interact with people. So because otherwise we're going to just spin our wheels and wear ourselves out and not be effective. A lot of people are trying to tell a certain story that they've they've been taught or that they think is true about what's right and what's wrong. And some of the words we have today uh, that we approach, we you know, justice doesn't necessarily mean what you think it means to somebody who uses the word justice. Racism doesn't necessarily mean what you think it means to the person today who's using the word racism, and on it goes. So we want to just be careful, and again, always come back, always come back to the Bible. This is our source for truth. We don't hate people who are confused. We love them. We just want to help them come to the truth and be guided towards heaven. So we want to be very careful today abstaining from every form of evil because there's many things and many forms, many subtleties today. We don't want to lose our joy. We don't want to lose our uh, appreciation for people. We just want to be careful here so that we are effective witnesses for our Lord. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this word. It's an uncomfortable word in many respects to abstain from every form of evil. And of course, the devil has clothed all these things so that they don't look so evil. They're just uh, sparkling and look nice and clean, but they're very evil underneath many things in our world. Help us, Lord, to test all things by the word. Help us to be right. Help us to be trusting in your truth and following out your truth. Show us how to share with others who need to find Jesus. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayers today and blessing us, uh, in this case, with a prohibition, you know, that we are to abstain from all these evil things. Help us to, to abstain from evil things. First of all, we need to sort of know what they are. So help us by your word to determine which things are right and to cleave to those. Lord, we thank you for hearing this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We should abstain from every form of evil. And so we need the Bible. We need to think about the things in the Bible so that we can share the truth. God be with you today. Have a wonderful day serving him in this world.